working on crop, really. Two fives all you need, really. I mean, that other truck is pretty fast, but we're just parting around. This thing is pretty sweet, really. Let's get warmed up. problem with this pit area is you get tons of dirt daubers and that'll just send you if you're going 40 mile an hour plus like the box says it will. Watch out for them puddles because we're not waterproof. Ooh. I got that low speed tune in nice here boys. Really puppy? little truck you know got all the power whatever needs do a wheelie do a jump do a, do a draft you know do whatever you really want to get this thing up in the second gear though boys jeez what's going on not really much of a run here, in all honesty, either. The grassy area is the great unknown, really. You can see there's a rock here I could almost use as a little jump. Let's see if I can go around this puddle here. Oh. Dirt dauber. Flip over. We got, we got flip over. And we're back in the race. Oh, but our starter control unit box. Oh. That's part of the part of the hobby, folks. Dirt dauber flip over. This my strip garage. Not a huge Vice Grip Garage follower. He's got a shit ton of videos, but once I do watch, I pretty well get a good ab workout. Just listening to the guy talk, he's hilarious. Dauber. Oh. 
hill climb. Let's get in the shade. Over. Fuck. Flip over. Massive. Boop. Here's a boot. See, this is rough here. This is really territory for like a YZ85 or something. Pretty rough in here, boys, but we're making do what we have available. I can't even really run this thing plot out. So, like, what are you doing with, the, with that high speed gearing and the 3 3 really? there but really it's got two clutches in it so how can you expect it? Oh This area here is just so off camera and fun. I always come back. Oh, get out of the sun. There's some big rocks. Maybe I'll stand on the rock. That might be a kind of a basic thing to do. Oh, my, that was a 
That was a friggin' thumbnail right there. That was a thumbnail shot. If I don't make such a thumbnail for this friggin' YouTube video, guys, then I'm being lazy. That's just lazy. Wow. What an unreal little music. If you guys can find one of these on the marketplace or whatever, and you're not sure if it's I mean, they shouldn't be that expensive. I've got a couple used ones for uh, anywhere between, um, for a truck like this, for a used one, in uh, Canadian dollars, you shouldn't be spending any more than 300 I'd say, or 350 for a nice one. For US dollars, you shouldn't be spending any more than... 200 or 250 US. For, that's for a nice one that probably hasn't really been used, but for one like this, it's been really used hard. Like, if you, if you look at the top of the body post, you can see right away how many times it's been flipped over. Mine's that look, that body post almost gone because she's flipping so many flip overs. But, uh, if you just, um, Don't spend too much money on them because they're not really that much brand new. This one I bought brand new. First first nitro truck I've ever owned. And uh I'm glad I got a new one. I got I still got the box and everything for it, which I like that stuff. I got the manual and all that stuff. For all the ones that I purchased second hand. I'll, I'll like try. I'll try and find the manuals and stuff for them. And I'll even pay. I paid like thirty or forty bucks for a lot of manuals that came with the, the sport track, sport match. That I've been looking for because I got sport match. But uh, yeah, real fun, real cheap. Check it out.